and welcome to another episode of Recast Fishing in SoCal. Today I am going to show you guys the pros and cons of this product since I have had it for some time now. So stay tuned. Okay, so the pros and cons to the Water Wolf this is the 1.0. Uh, there's actually a 1.1 version that's already been out for some time now. I think at the beginning of this year. One has more different features like um, there's a the go down deeper and their attachments and all kind of all sorts of stuff. But this one, um, I bought it actually on Amazon. It was a lot cheaper. But um, the the good things about this one, starting off, is all kinds of stuff. And in low light, it was able to um, take footages of the fish bites and it was specifically made for fishing. It wasn't like a GoPro where you have to have it in your hand or you have to clamp it onto something that has nothing to do with fishing whatsoever. This camera was specifically made for fishing that you could put it on your line with bait attached at the end so like like this one if you see in my previous videos it will be able to capture the bait at the end with the camera lined up with it and as you can see the fish really don't mind as soon as it drops they'll still swim around it so they're not really spooked by it they'll still eat the bait right after and you'll be able to see what's under the water and even if the water's a little murky, a little dirty, you'll still be able to see what's in the water. And the only few things I found which was um, not that great about this product was um, that it's very, very difficult to take the cap off. I already have the cap taken off already. This is really hard to put on because it's a real tight fit, it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, but the inside is not waterproof, so that's something you have to be careful. You have to really put that on there. But the second version that came out already, uh, it comes with this little thing that attaches on here and it's, it helps you easily take this cap off. And, and also that cap will be able to attach on top of your lens, so it'll be easier for you to walk around with it so it won't scratch your lens and stuff like that in your box or your other carrying case. It is a very tight fit to put in a, um, a micro SD card. It's just like uh, putting in a card for, for a GoPro. And in the USB charger is just like when you have a Samsung. Uh, it's like, it's like for, for a cell phone. So if you have any chargers, you could charge it. Um, other stuff. This is really important. A lot of people have on on Amazon when you buy, you see a lot of comments on how they throw in their 32 memory chip inside and it doesn't work. They used it once or twice, it doesn't work. Um, a lot of the cases, I even have problems with myself. I try using a lot of the the chips I have and it doesn't work. Is more likely because um, you have to put in actually a lower quality or lower um, memory chip in order for it to work. If you put in anything higher than a 32 gig um, mini memory chip in there, it does not read it. It's really slow. So if you put anything in there that's really big, it has a hard time reading the chip itself and another thing that I felt that it was uh, kind of inconvenient is um, if you guys already could tell I have this little white piece on here instead of a black one that you kind of see out in the market is because I actually lost my piece down here um, Greg actually casted it out with the lure and he broke off the lure. so anyway so I had to quickly make another piece in order for this camera to work because they do not sell this online unless um, I have to go to uh, UK to buy another one online. I think they sell it. I have to double check on that. So if I buy another one then I'll have one but for now this is something I made. Um, if you guys are wondering how I made this, this custom piece, 
attachment for my for my water wolf. This custom piece is actually made out of a pen. Yes, the inside of a pen. And right here, the inside of inside of this pen is a um, really really heavy pound test line with split rings. Unless I'm going for like tuna or something, which are those fish are the only ones that's probably gonna be breaking this, or I catch like a 50 pound stingray. Yeah, those are the only things that'll probably break this line. And I don't think I'll ever have any problem with that. And I put like really, I tied it with a really good knot. So that's what's on here. Yes, that's a pen. And it fits perfectly and slides on there just right. So whenever I want to take this off, I'll probably slide this over just a little bit and I'll just pull that off and it works just fine. So if any of you have a problem with your attachments, grab a piece of pen, open it up. I know there's ink in there. You might want to pour some of that ink out, slide it on and it'll work perfect. Just, you know, put a, some line on there split ring you could put a barrel swivel on there and that'll, well, that'll probably work really good too a snap swivel on the other end make it a lot easier for you to put braid or whatever you want and then little lure or bait or whatever you want on this side and then you have your whole thing worked out so that is my product review there is more cons than pros to this product and if you guys know any other product that does the same maybe better let me know in the comments below and um, if you guys know anywhere that sells this piece i would like to know from you guys too and thank you for watching on another episode of recast fishing in socal and see you guys another time